So one of the most simple ingredients I use every single day is garlic. It's my little friend and I love it. I'm gonna show you a technique today to prepare this as quick as possible. So to do this process, you only need five simple things. One, your garlic. Two, a chef knife. A chopping board. Chuck's cloth. And some salt. So the first thing you wanna do is wet your chucks. This is very important. Chefs use this on a day-to-day -day basis and not many people know it. It's as simple as the wet chucks under your chopping board. Stops it from slipping. Next. Separate the bulbs of the garlic. Using the side of your knife, just slightly give it a little bash. All this does is essentially releases the skin from the actual garlic itself. You'll find then it's easy to peel. Once you've done this, just take your chef's knife and just roughly chop through the garlic. You don't have to chop it too fine, because this is where you, where you start to crush it. So a pinch of salt on your garlic. This makes it sweat and it makes it a lot easier to crush essentially and you get a nice smooth paste. So just run your knife through it a few times and then using the side of your knife, just start to crush it. What you'll find is after about 30 seconds of doing this, it'll turn into a paste. You'll notice as well that my chopping board isn't moving. I usually do this once a week in a big batch and I put it in the fridge so I don't have to do it again. So once you've got your garlic paste, what I tend to do is I just mix a little bit of olive oil in it and it should last a week. I just use your everyday average olive oil. Australian made though. And what this does is you can actually use the blue, if you need a recipe, you can actually use the oil itself as a garlic oil. You don't actually need to use the garlic itself. So a little bit of oil, cling wrap, in the fridge, ready to go. So one thing to be mindful of when you're crushing garlic is once you're finished, is to either wash your, or wash your knife and wash your chopping board. Because if you chop any other ingredients on it, it will taste like garlic. 